all because you gave the devil a space and opportunity through the number one issue that the Bible keeps warnings about anger, bitterness, rage due to unforgiveness and not looking at the betrayal and the hurt through the lens of the gospel. If God could be betrayed and be can be crucified and could be beaten by his puny little human beings, we're all sinners and wretches. And he can endure it and on the cross say, Father, forgive them for that they know not what they do. You as a sinner and a wretch yourself and a miserable, lustful, covetous, lying dummy can forgive other people for the crap they've done, done towards you. Even if it was gruesome as seeing your brother get raped and your sister get raped, you can still have a forgiving spirit because by forgiving, having a forgiving spirit, you're freeing yourself from the attachment of that villain, of that, of that monster. You're, you're, you're giving them over to God to take vengeance. You're trusting God more than you're trusting the devil and yourself on what to do with that problem. And I'm telling you, if you do it the devil's way, he's not only going to make you feel good with all that rage and vengeance at the moment, but boy, he's going to take control of your life. He's going to take control of your thoughts.